Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Top of the Key, where today ACES TV personalities Carolyn Peck and Krista Blunt join us to break down this impressive crop of WNBA rookies. Ladies, thanks for joining us. Oh, glad to be here. Here we go again. Thank you. I know the two most well-known draft picks, Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese. What have you seen from them thus far? Well, I think that there were such high expectations on Caitlin Clark coming in, especially what she did in her college season, leading the nation in scoring and expected that from her when she came into the WNBA. Well, the WNBA is a different level and she's playing on an inexperienced team, but she's still able to find her way to score. And you see in each game that Caitlin plays in, she gets better and better. She adjusts to the physicality. She's finding her op opportunities. I think the biggest thing for her moving forward is her ability to take care of the basketball. I, I'm with you, and I think that the just finding the system and how they want to utilize Analia Boston, Melissa Smith, along with Caitlin Clark, how are they going to really get their offense going? They've got to find more scoring. And so I think that's a big question mark. But then you talk about Angel Reese, and mm. she makes her way to Chicago, and I think it's the perfect fit for her. I mean, she's basically averaging a double-double at this point. Uh, just impressive what she's been able to do. She's a tricky kind of matchup as well. I just don't think there are a lot of players like her. Uh, she's physical. She's big like a post, but she's got some quickness about her as well. Her defense has been solid, and that's something that, you know, when you don't have the defensive play in this league, you're going to struggle, and you're probably not going to get minutes. But I think she's doing a great job. A good word that I hear often used with Angel Reese is unorthodox. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, coming out of college, we didn't know if she was left-handed or right-handed because she can shoot the ball with both hands. But also how she can rebound in that second jump, her ability to get off the floor as well. But talking about rebounding, what L.A. did when they got Cameron Brink and Rakia Jackson, let me tell you, Cameron Brink has already demonstrated to me that she is going to be a problem in this league. She could potentially be into the conversation already of making an all-defensive team because of her shot-blocking ability. She is so long, and she's learning how to wall up so that she's not getting into foul trouble. And then Rakia Jackson, that played at Tennessee, has the ability to play multiple positions. She can play that stretch four. She can go out to the three. She can defend. And when she comes into the game, she's an instant bucket. Yeah, I think they're going to start utilizing Rakia Jackson even more, especially if Brinkins into foul trouble. No Azrae Steven jet as well. So without her, I think that we'll see a little more from Jackson. And then when you when you look at the, the Washington Mystics, I love Aaliyah Edwards from, from Connecticut into their system. I think she's really stepped in. I think they needed a big presence. No Elena Deladon on this year so they needed somebody to kind of fill high low post um, she can step out a, a bit but I, I, I love what she's been able to do in this rookie season so far her numbers are there and then they also have a player in Julie Van Lu and I don't think a lot of people she's one of those undrafted kind of unknown gems that I that I look at and she's a she's part of the Belgian national team she can shoot it she's a scrappy little guard she can handle the ball for them as well but she brings some experience to this team who, who got a little younger this year I think and she brings a, bu a burst of energy yeah. her quick on the floor, but talk about bringing energy on the floor. You've got Sev Uzun and Jalen Brown. Where did Jalen Brown come <laughs> from? I mean, in the in the exhibition games, this is a rookie that came into the game knocking down threes with confidence. She's out right now um, with an injury, but with her and Azun, that'll be a great compliment to Arike Agumbawale at that guard spot to push pace, to free Arike to get off the ball, down the floor, because you know she's money in transition. I think that's where the rookies could really play off for Dallas. Yeah, I think that Brown, a lot of people didn't know about her. She's out of Cal back in 2020, but she's been playing overseas. So this is a player who took a few years away, got some experience, and she comes back. She's she's really a great find for, for the Wings. And then you look at the Las Vegas Aces. Come on! Come on! How about how about Kate Martin? She gets some time, and she took advantage of those minutes. Got her first points, got the big three. How about the shot block, though? I think oh. everybody was impressed yes. with the shot block from Kate Martin, but they're loving Kate Money Martin, as Becky Hammond likes to call her. And I just, I like the energy. I like the fact that she's really just a what does this team need? And she's, she's sharp. She's catching on to the schemes already. I mean, that's probably one of the trickiest things when you jump to this level is figuring out what the coach needs from you. The biggest thing that I've seen from Kate Martin is she's not just happy to be here. Like, she wants to contribute, and she has she fits in where she needs to be. If it's a defensive stop, I've seen her, you know, you look at her and you go, okay, she came from Iowa. Will she be able to guard the athletes in the WNBA? Yes, check that. 
a big box out when you need mm -hmm. it. She's willing to sacrifice her body and get inside. And then don't put her in that corner pocket because <laughs> you come down, leave her alone. Kate Money Martin is going to knock that shot yep. down. Wow. What an impressive collection of rookies. We look forward to watching their career because they are going to do wonderful things here in the WNBA. Thank you, Carolyn, and thank you, Krista, for joining us today. We will be back with our dynamic duo next week as we dive into the history books and explore some of the greatest rookies in ACES franchise history.